hey guys welcome back and today we have this infinix x625 it was brought in by a technician and he explained to me that while he was putting a new screen the phone worked properly and he coupled the phone he glued the screen and cover it once it was done he powered on the phone and the phone refused to power on all right so when he brought it to me i discovered it was um, backlight issue okay so i wanted to see how i'm going to be able to troubleshoot this backlight issue step by step so that when this happens to you you know where to check or you know how to troubleshoot this the first thing is to check um that this the the phone is really having backlight uh problem all right and i can see all right let's power the phone on all right i'm gonna show you pay close attention you see a kind of infinix logo here on the screen showing in the background okay you can see right there all right so that is um backlight issue whenever you see something like this all right so how would you troubleshoot this as a technician step by step okay the first thing is to disconnect the battery and remove the pcb from the um from the casing or the chassis then we are going to take vph reading okay vph reading um each uh each section of the pcb okay some of the sections of the pcb um has the vph line runs uh run into it all right so um, i'm going to check if the vph voltage is present on the fpc all right that's what i'm going to do right now so let me get my multimeter quickly putting my multimeter on uh, voltage mode so why do we check vph line i, I want to check if there is a short on the on the light section okay if there is a short then i'm not going to get my vph voltage on that line okay so that's um, another way to troubleshoot we have various ways to troubleshoot light problem but this is my vph voltage right there 4.1 if you don't know what a vph voltage is it's very important that you join our online training okay the numbers are on the screen join our online training so that you'll be able to learn all these things and you'll be able to learn thorough troubleshooting you can also come for a physical training it's very much available so just dm us and make your inquiries on all this all right so i've removed the shield and we are going to do what we call physical inspection first all right to see if there's any abnormality um, around the light section you don't need to reball any ic okay don't reball power ic don't reball ram don't reball emmc don't reball the processor you need to go to the sections now this section right here is the light section comprised of the diode coil you know light ic you know resistor capacitors and all that so if you want to know more about this please join our online training and the numbers is right on the screen okay so ladies and gentlemen i've discovered that the diode is burnt all right that was what i was pointing out earlier all right so i'm going to replace the diode right there so you can just pick any diode and place there all right it's very important as a technician to replace with the same diode on a donor board that is on the light section is very important okay so that you'll be rest assured you have the confidence that what you're doing is the right thing all right so that's how to go about all these things ladies and gentlemen don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're interested in our online training please dm us on the numbers on the screen we're going to help you become a better technician trust me when i tell you that okay so now let's go this is me uh, replacing the diode i got my diode from a donor board so most of you that do sell your boards to uh, some people you know <laughs> you might not be able to get this all right so now that's i've just shown you the one i removed and the, the one i installed right there so it's very important to to know that okay now i'm going to show you again look at that right there so this is the diode i removed so i'm going to put it on the side 
all right and it's very important to clean all right to clean your job because i've applied flux i've applied soda you know soda paste and all that so i need to clean now it's time to test if it works or not if it doesn't all work if it doesn't work then there is other way to go around it so if you have done this and you still have issues there are other ways there are other trick that you need to learn and it's in my online training you can only get that trick in my online training okay so make sure you join our online training to have latest informations about mobile phone repairs okay so now let's power the phone on again let's see if it's gonna if the light is gonna come out and the light is back ladies and gentlemen don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more amazing quality videos like this okay don't forget to also subscribe turn on the notification for future updates join our online training is very very important i'm telling you i'm telling you online tra our online training and physical training are very very um, efficient for you see you in my next video peace guys